there is a cell which is very important that is called myelocyte. This cell for all three for the basophils, eosinophils and neutrophils we get myelocyte neutrophil, myelocyte basophil and somewhere here uh, eosinophil, myelocyte eosinophil right. Any cell which is before that is called pro myelocyte and any cell which comes after this is called meta, meta means after myelocyte any problem with that right. So, we have hemocytoblast which has given rise to myeloid pro progenitor and lymphoid progenitor. Then from myeloid progenitor we got the myeloblast, myeloblast then gave us pro myelocyte which is committed to make the granulocytes. Now within the granulocyte we would have one is the final mature cell. So, we will have a neutrophil or we have an eosinophil or we have a basophil right. So, these are mature cells, but in the path to forming that we would encounter a myelocyte which is also a very important cell in a cell before that is called promyelocyte and what you do is you put the the commitment if it is neutrophil then you say pro myelocyte neutrophil, if it is eosinophil lineage then you say pro myelocyte eosinophil, if it is basophil lineage you say pro myelocyte basophil right. Similarly after the myelocyte you would get metamyelocyte and metamyelocyte again same thing metamyelocyte neutrophil, metamyelocyte eosinophil, metamyelocyte basophil. Many books actually for the neutrophil give all the steps that is if this is myelocyte they give a pro, a meta, a band I will talk about band in a second or stab and then mature. But for the eosinophil and basophil, eosinophil and basophil they just directly make them. That does not mean that these stages do not occur in the eosinophil and basophil that does not mean that these stages do not occur. Actually all of these granulocytes go through the same stages. So, the important stages to remember is the myelocyte stage. So, a cell before pro, pro means before, a cell after meta, meta is after and then another very interesting stage is the band stage or stab stage, band or stab. Here the cells have almost matured, they are almost done. So, for example, in case of neutrophil the band stage really has the, the, the nucleus almost becoming multilobed and then as it matures and comes out in the blood it becomes multilobed right. So, band or stab. So, Myelocyte keep that in mind, before myelocyte is pro myelocyte, after myelocyte is metamyelocyte then appears band, band has a clinical significance. Why? Because a person who is making too many of the cells abnormally or normally maybe there is a pathogenesis going on, maybe there is an infection going on and there is a need to produce more neutrophils or there is a cancer and neutrophils are being produced. Either way you would see a lot of band cells in the peripheral circulation. So, what happens is that is equal to a draft military draft where youngsters are gone to defend and we are we have forced some of them. So, normally it is a voluntary action, but if they are forced that you have to go do it then that is called a military draft. So, if the band cells are found out in the peripheral circulation you take some blood from the peripheral circulation and you see the band cell sitting in there. The clinical significance is that that means too many of them are pushed out even in the immature stages. They are young yet and they have been pushed out. That could be because you are making too many of them or that could be because we need too many of them right. This is a similar thing just like in RBC that if you see people who have gotten anemias 
and they need more well there are many types of anemias but in certain type of anemias where bone marrow tries to pump out too many RBCs or there are kind of problems with the kidney or a person has gone up to a high altitude and more RBCs are needed because there is hypoxia in the surrounding you would see that premature RBCs would have come out as well. So similar clinical significance over here. So remember the band cells or stab cells and then we have how many cells now we got the stem cell primary stem cell for the bone marrow then we have got in the myeloid progenitor this cell would make it would make megakaryocytes which would give rise to platelets platelets it would also make um, erythroblasts or, or red blood RBC lineage it would make granulocytes which we are, we are talking about one, one of the granulocytes we are talking today basophils, eosinophils and neutrophils and it would make monocytes which would then you know as, they, as long as they are in the tissue or in the blood vessels they are monocyte when they go in the tissue they become macrophages. So really if you think about it very important cells all of them are very important platelets for coagulations 